Welcome back, everybody, to the Glorious Sunrise Podcast. It's a glorious day. It's actually not. It's, like, super stormy outside for me. John, how you doing, buddy? It's like the surface of the sun here. Not really, man. I hate it when people say that. I don't even know why I said that. It's not. It's just super hot. It's super yeah. hot. <laughs> but it's been, I'm doing great. I'm doing I'm great, I'm glad buddy. you're doing well, man. It's been a little warm here uh, the last week, but we've been, we're having those summer storms like crazy, so... Um, it's been interesting, but, uh, guys, we're back. I know a couple things out of the way. First and foremost, uh, we did not have an episode last week. Scheduling issues did not permit that we had time to record. Uh, it's all good though. We're back. We're not going anywhere. This is still a thing. Um, (laughs) as far as, uh, today's episode, I have no idea at this point in time what it's going to be. Uh, John decided to plan an episode and then also decided to omit me from the plans so i don't know what's gonna happen uh on top of that this is also coming out on fourth of july uh so for any u.s individuals um happy fourth of july way to be there we we did it um that's it all right so john (laughs) yeah what an intro uh yeah no doubt what what are we doing we're doing uh 21 questions of kevin all right, so anybody what? that wants to know Kevin, yeah, we're doing 21 questions of Kevin. Look, so we got a really cool one scheduled out for the next podcast where we do, you know, we're going to we're gonna kind of do a dive on what's our favorite sets, what was our favorite blocks, what do we like about it, blocks versus sets type thing. But that's going to require some actual uh, getting in and studying up on it. So just to kind of do a filler. I don't know if you guys have ever wanted to ask Kevin any questions, but I have. So we're going to jump into this and find out what Kevin's really made of. There's really some what? magic questions. There's some magic questions and then there's some non-magic questions. And I will say this, though. I did not go into personal, you know, with the wife and stuff like that. Okay. I didn't do any questions like that. So it's just little, you and magic. I was a little worried about that. But yeah, no, okay. man, I wouldn't do that unless I asked. And I couldn't yeah. ask if I wanted to make this spontaneous. So this is gonna be hilarious all right sick i'm in yeah man this is gonna go as fast as you can fill out these answers (laughs) i'm known for long-winded answers as you're well aware so this is gonna be great go for it man go for it okay and uh also to anyone listening to this before you just dip out if you got questions for kevin that i didn't hit up so now you gotta listen uh throw it in the comments below (laughs) absolutely feel free uh, let's all get to I'm going to get, get you back for no this one day. No just problem, so you man. Know. All right. <laughs> no problem. Let's do it. I'm ready. All right. First one. Outside of MTG content creation, what is your job? Oh, uh, <laughs> um, my professional title uh, is senior web developer. Um, I work for a nonprofit association and I manage websites there. What I really do is much more than that. Um, I can go into a long-winded answer if you want, uh, but the idea is that I manage websites, I do graphics, um, trained in graphic design and all that stuff. So um, a lot of that has translated to quality assurance on it resolves, which John, you're well aware of. Um, and <laughs> so yeah, that's always been a big stickler thing for me. Yeah, no, cool, cool. All right. Yeah, no, that works, man. You say did nonprofit, I, so I like the, well, yeah. I mean, I guess so. You said nonprofit, so like the yeah. NSA, and you just didn't want to tell us. Yeah, exactly. No, it's okay. a uh, it's a manufacturing <laughs> association um, mm-hmm. based in uh, Greenville, South Carolina. I'm not living in Greenville, South Carolina. I'm not doxing myself, but um, okay. Yeah, <laughs> man, I give the city out where I'm at all the time. I, Good yeah, luck trying I've, to find me. I know. I've I've given my uh my general location plenty of times. Right on. So, yep. You ready for the next one? Yeah, dude. Let's go. All right. This what is hilarious. Is your <laughs> favorite color combination to play in MTG. Oh, that's any very format. Good. But um, what's your favorite color combination and why? So, man, that's a really tough question for me, actually. Um, I generally love anything blue related because I'm a douche. Um, I do love a lot of like old school storm decks and stuff, which generally lend themselves to like uh, blue, black or blue, black, red. So Grixis or Demir. Um, I do like a little bit of green every once in a while if I'm playing, uh, you know, like a Golgari mid-range style list in different formats is really fun. But generally, I go for 
like a combo heavy deck, which is definitely towards blue black for me. Um, but it it probably changes via different formats. You know what I mean? Like I yeah. I love Sultai and Legacy. Like Sultai Leovold stuff is just mean. <laughs> um, Leovold man. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's such a douche card. Um, it is, bro. It is. Does it? It's it is the one. He looks like the brother off of Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Although yeah. funny enough, uh not that this is a question, I don't watch or I've never watched Game of Thrones. Um oh I've my watched God, episode one. I, I have to take that back. I've watched episode one. Um and I was like, Man, if you're really into incest, this is like super the show for you. Um Yeah. yeah sorry for is. the controversial <laughs> topic there. <laughs> but like <laughs> Okay. Okay, bro, you gotta you gotta watch it. You gotta watch it. You won't like look, if you're a normal person, you won't like the the final season. Um oh. It just, especially after your comment there, but <laughs> uh, there are parts throughout. There's just some incredible episodes, man. There's some incredible oh, I, episodes. Dude, I, we're tangenting already. But um, what yeah. I will say is uh, <laughs> the from the like video production standpoint and like the graphical yeah. standpoint, the stuff that they do in that show is phenomenal. Because I have seen yep. like a lot of the how it's how it's shot. Or, or how the video production and CGI is implemented and like the layering they do. And man, it's just beautiful. Um, yeah, it is. But. All right. Back on track. Yes. That was small tangent. No problem. <laughs> the third <laughs> question. We're God, we're only on three. Uh, top favorite MTG artwork. You can only pick one. Oh God. I know what it's going to be. Yeah. I think you do. I'm, I'm just running through my options to be safe. <laughs> um, it's if I have to, choice. yeah, I think Elish Norn is probably my favorite. The the regal art, uh, that's I, I'll just say Elish Norn's my favorite card. I don't know if that's a question that's later on on the list, but I've already talked about this a lot. Elish Norn is my favorite card, mostly because of the artwork. I think she just looks freaking cool and like very uh, regal. It's just, stunning. Yeah, it's yeah. absolutely stunning. Um, I will. There are a couple of others that come to mind, but definitely Ellis. Sp Spider there. booty. Spider booty. No, honestly, Shielder. I don't love the Shieldred art. I think it's good, no? but I it, I don't really? love it. Natural I didn't order. like the promo. I didn't like the promo. I like the original on. Uh, I like the regular on that over the mm -hmm. promo on Shieldred. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Ellis. Uh, she. Yeah, man. She's so an incredible beautiful. card. Yeah. And yeah. just a good card. That's kind of the fun part is she's actually good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Well, and cheat her out with loyal retainers. Oh. It's a douche move. <laughs> just reanimate. So, Honestly, so just reanimate. Bad. Well, that's um, basically what it does. You get yeah. it in the graveyard, and then loyal retainers comes in. And, you, I mean, you got Elsh on turn three and Commander. Yeah. Hey, turn it's two gross. And, and Legacy if you really want to. Nice. Um, <laughs> actually sooner but, uh, in vintage you could do it turn one in vintage <laughs> oh my god man no you could do that's, basically that's anything you want so in vintage, <laughs> <laughs> no. all right on to the next one if you could live in a sci-fi world book or movie wow what world okay. would you pick and what character would you be wow what a high level question this is um <laughs> oh my god what kind of so i'm trying to think of like good sci-fi things that i've read because i'll be honest i don't read or i mean i enjoy a lot of sci-fi <laughs> stuff we've covered like, this before we have um i will read. say <laughs> i do read <laughs> fuck you uh no i will say the book ender's game have you ever read ender's yep. game okay yeah no i haven't read it i saw the movie uh the my movie was son substantially read it. worse yeah, I know. My son had read it. He said the same thing, so he kind of explained it and stuff. But yeah, yeah. The twist ending to the book just got me, man. Uh, and there is a lot of follow up and like uh, novels to to kind of prolong the series. But definitely, Ender's Game is the best. But um, I I was really intrigued by that world, and I'll say it's mm -hmm. sci fi. But I think a lot of the reason I enjoyed the book so much is because it didn't just focus on the like it was very character driven you know a lot of sci-fi stuff is built on the like here's this cool technology and like focus on right. this that way our characters can suck butt and it doesn't matter and i'm like no i'd rather just have good characters in a really fascinating world and then learn more about the world as you go 
and I think Ender's Game did a relatively good job of that. Um, so I would probably say that universe. And I mean, mm -hmm. I gotta be Ender because that's just yeah. freaking cool. Um, yeah. The... <laughs> Yeah, Absolute I think that's it. I was going to say George Orwell's 1985, but I was like, no, that's that's pretty bad. We can't that's, do that. Man, let's not go into super dystopian. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I guess Ender, I guess Ender was kind Ender of was so like, he didn't. Dude, well, in the follow-up novels. To prevent extinction, right? Yeah, it was to but he like struggles extinction. so much in the, the follow-up yeah. novel. It's fascinating. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah. All right. You cool. didn't know I read that book, so ha. Huh? No, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, wait Caught till you, you hear mine if you ever ask me that question. Yeah, I'm going to need you to send me this list. Cause... <laughs> yeah, nope. Nope. Oh, you come, come on. Watch your own. All right. I can, watch I can it back. It. Watch it back. Oh, that's true. <laughs> so... I never All watch right. our content back. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I think we both do because we're always nitpicking. Yeah, we, we, we do yeah uh number five <laughs> what do you enjoy most about content creation oh man um this is a really odd thing to pick on but i think you and i have talked about this i mm -hmm. love the satisfaction of creating a really good process and then just daily executing that process so what i'm for anybody that doesn't really understand what i mean by that um i have worked really hard on templating out like our the gameplay templates as an example like the video templates that i've created for that mm -hmm. i can edit a video in like less than five minutes because i've got a process down that is like fixated so heavily on fine-tuning the detail that it's not difficult for the actual process at the end so um defining those things and like recreating graphics every once in a while and just refreshing every once in a while is such a fun part of it honestly the like recording is really fun but it's such a minuscule part in my view mm -hmm. um oh yeah that it's like eh. i mean i love it obviously otherwise i wouldn't do it but definitely the the like creation process of the the templates behind it all right on very cool that was a good one. very cool man uh next they're all good <laughs> so, <laughs> number six what is your favorite ice cream flavor wow okay yeah they're all good um no <laughs> uh, um it's uh, easy mint... i gotta put some easy ones in here yeah for sure um mint chocolate chip really it's, yeah i love toothpaste it's great um no Dang, i do you i like, do love like those cream. you like those andy's mints yeah put i on do your pillow what's wrong in with the you? hotel um i like them i like the andy's <laughs> toffees better i like the andy's toffees yeah. better than the, the mint um all right mint chocolate chip who would have thunk it <laughs> um, seven <laughs> that's the answer you're judgy on is the ice cream <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> seven favorite uh character or planeswalker in the mtg universe you can oh. only pick one uh character a lot of this has to do with my recent reading of uh, the Thran, uh, Yogmoth, hundred uh, percent. I would for Planeswalker. I would normally say Jace, just because I love the Jace cards. I think he's freaking badass. Um, I know that's like a really common opinion, but I do. Um, but Yogmoth as a character is way more intricate and way more interesting. He's also not a Planeswalker, um, right. which is fascinating. So it's like you think of this big bad villain and it's like yeah but he's kind of stuck <laughs> uh hence yeah. the entire brother's war but you know you get the idea right on cool okay so this may tie back into one of your other questions oh favorite book oh uh Twenty Thousand leagues under the sea really yeah some jules verne huh some jules verne um i love a lot of like classic fiction or mm -hmm. old school stuff so um i love the adventure side of that i love the very like high intellectual because i i aspire very hard i guess to be that i'll never reach it but we'll get there um and i'm I, buying you a word of the day book <laughs> that's what's gonna yes. happen yes <laughs> no. it's a great idea um no, uh no i love that book a lot um i think it's very very good 
interestingly enough, uh, probably the first really big book that I read, and it was in first grade. Yeah, that was that was it. I love yep. it. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. It's an awesome book. It is I've not my favorite, but it's awesome. Yeah, it's. Right I on. will say, if you're looking for a book and you hate detail oriented books, do not read Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Like Shit, no, they <laughs> no, don't. From the perspective of the guy is the main character. I'll simplify as much as I can, but he's a scientist. And so, and they're obviously in the ocean under the sea. Weird, right? Um, he's classifying, like, literally there are pages and pages of him just cl classifying all of the sea creatures that he sees. And by that, I mean, they're in, like, this biome with this uh, species classification and then this subclassification. <laughs> like, it's not... Yeah. That part's not super enjoyable. I'll just go ahead and say. <laughs> right on, right on. Well, you did touch on the fact that you were uh, kind of jumping into magic books. Yeah. And since we're on the topic, the next question is, uh, favorite MTG book that you've read so far? And I guess we know the answer now. Yeah, The Thran. Uh, the Thran was a... I I've read everything up until The Thran. That was the last one that I've read. I've also read bits and pieces of, I'll say, semi-modern sets. So, like, Ra the OG Ravnica. Um, and then you and I kind of gushed over the original Mirrodin cycle, which I did mm -hmm. read the whole cycle. Um, but definitely the Thran, because it gives so much of the Yawgmoth backstory. And it just sets him up as this, like... At, the whole book is just set up for why he's such a big swinging badass and it's like yeah okay that makes a lot of sense now um yeah i gotta be honest i haven't read much of these or mm -hmm. into them much but uh i did pull up the list last night yeah. honestly so i've got them in order and yeah. um i've got them in order you should read them yep. um so i am actually gonna purchase a couple today and start yes. on those i read books slow because i, I read them when i when i go to bed yep. and uh and I got to wait till my wife goes to sleep because I got the words really big on my Kindle <laughs> so I can see it. And she's like, God, John, there's only like four words on that page. Why is it taking you so long? <laughs> so it's like, it's That's like, so good. You get judged for reading. Every, she I, does, man. I'm like, why I don't you that. just roll over and watch your damn how you're going to kill me movie on TV <laughs> and, and leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good yeah i i encourage you to read them i think it's a uh, they're fun the original ones are really interesting yeah we're gonna get into it uh i'm definitely gonna get into it yeah it's just gonna increase uh a little bit of information for me so doing yep. like the the live challenges and stuff like that i can i can throw out some of my lower knowledge yeah exactly but uh all right next one not a magic question okay Number 10, if there was a zombie apocalypse, what's your weapon of choice? <laughs> wow. Um, you can only have one. I can only have one. Um, yep. I have literally never thought about this question. Um, That's why we're doing it. <laughs> I don't... I, I have no answer. I, something that doesn't have... Uh, a... <laughs> what is this question this is so stupid i feel like this is one of those questions that everybody our age has probably well i'll say my age because we're different ages um uh -huh. have a lot of people my oh age. wow sorry John. <laughs> that's um, backhanded yeah a little bit <laughs> but a lot of people my age because of like the walking dead and stuff have thought about this mm -hmm. and i have watched the walking dead and honestly never thought about it because i've never considered this to be a possibility so oh probably not but um, this is get to know Kevin day. I know, but I I don't know, man. Uh, something swingy, a baseball bat. I'll just say a baseball bat because I have no. Okay, idea. yeah, hell yeah, go with the Negan. Yeah, get, let let your inner Negan out. Hell yeah, <laughs> it's like seal. It's like let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like somebody it's criticizing you in point. the comments. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get raked over the coals. I'm um, gonna. No, no, baseball bat is fine. It I works. mean, here's my thing, because this is my classic overthinking. A gun runs out of ammo. 
Yeah, no, you don't pick a gun. You don't no, ever pick a gun. That's classic. Not, not if you're going. Not if you only have one weapon. That may be what yeah. you start with, but that is yeah, not your sure. one long. You term carry weapon. one as like a yeah. hey, just in case. But man, basically. I mean to be honest, I would probably go with like a utility shovel. And that would make a like, lot of Like I've sense. still got, I, I've still got mine from from uh, way back in the day. Yeah. So it kind of folds, but it oh, can yeah, unfold, yeah, yeah. and it's got like a saw edge on one and then the other edge is actually sharpened uh yeah That's, but yeah, yeah anyways <laughs> all right next question there's gonna be all kinds of stuff in here to throw I'm you off so buddy. confused by that one all right let's go uh next one favorite mtg format uh uh can Eat, i give whether it's on arena or not can i give constructed and limited or does that do i have to pick one yeah, you can go constructed and limited. Okay, uh, constructed. I'm gonna say modern, mm -hmm. um, mostly because it, while it's definitely more expensive than standard and uh, a little less accessible, it's not as crazy as something like Legacy or Vintage in terms of cost. Um, but you can still do some very powerful things. We talk about modern as like a turn three, turn four format. Mostly, I guess turn four now, um, and so it's it's a pretty aggressive you know overpowered format in some in some capacities and so i really like that um i like doing broken stuff uh which also leads into my limited answer which is absolutely cube draft and i know that's kind of an open-ended thing because people build different cubes i'll specify enough to say like legacy cube um because you can do a lot of crazy stuff vintage cube is a little too much because you get to the point where you just kind of win in in no time uh because somebody built a terrible deck and you build a decent deck or whatever but legacy there's a little bit more to it and it's very fun cool all, all right, right. Good very answer. cool there you go yeah it was all right so on to number 12 if you were in charge of mtg arena for a day and you could only make one change what would it be <laughs> <laughs> Oh, John. Um, <laughs> wow. What a, what a question. Um, I, okay. Honestly, despite all of the faults, um, with mm -hmm. the like economy of it all and all that stuff, I think the biggest thing that I would want to do is, uh, get every card in magic's history built into the game. That would be my one big thing only because Shit. that's a good answer so i here's didn't even my think thing. of that yeah no i mean the thing is that's like that answer. opens up so much possibility for like true true commander play you can play modern on there you play legacy you play vintage you play whatever you want um yeah. and it would be so much more fun for content creators to be able to explore formats that are already established instead of flailing with really crappy formats that they're that's so overly aggressive but just not very good formats that aren't as established not and so they're not going to be successful it's the truth i mean it's the it truth. Is, it is, yeah, yeah. Um, like explorer is close <laughs> i've actually really enjoyed explorer recently but it's still limited by the card pool yeah it's limited by the card pool and it only being in standard but i i yeah. gotta say i like i like the fact i until i tripped upon it the other day um i didn't know that you could put your your uh alchemy cards into your yeah. historic decks and stuff like that and i was yeah. like oh well hail yeah that kind of that kind of makes them a little more viable but yeah. uh, i do like some of the cards they're putting out i don't know that i necessarily like the idea that it's digital only cards but uh I don't love nah, man it's not bad good answer though man i didn't even think of that See, Aha, I, I would have went i would have went for the i love my community i give you all free access to all the cards no I won't no i'm kidding that. i'm kidding I'm that's kidding. how you run a business in the ground i'm not into that. i know <laughs> all right next up favorite song ah uh, i actually have an answer for this normally i would right say on. i don't but in general uh i know how to speak by manchester orchestra really yeah i love that song right on it's a beautiful cool. song it's a very i love a good rocky end to a song and like a good build uh do you know that song no well okay. i might because you i should... listen to a lot of music but yeah. not off the top of my head 
you should listen to it. It's a beautiful song. Uh, I think Andy Hull is a great lyricist as well. So, I got it written down. I'll okay. check it out after this. I'll check it out after. I could this. have been really uh, self promoting <laughs> and said any of the songs I've made. Right. But, uh, there you go. I didn't want I mean, to do that. Plug. He's still yeah, got the plug. Yeah, shameless plug. I still got the plug in. <laughs> there you go. Ha-ha. All You'll right, never hear them. <laughs> Yeah, you will. Just go to Spotify. Um, aggro or control? Control. Easy. Okay. Next question. <laughs> Pineapple on pizza. Absolutely not. Thank you, God. I really thought I was going to be the end of the channel. <laughs> so, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> <laughs> what if? What if we were just like posting on Twitter and we were like, guys, John and Kevin disagreed on pineapple on pizza, so it resolves is done. It's done. It, it's it, it now dissolves. <laughs> so. Honestly, at the end of it resolves. Can you and I agree that if we ever decide to end the channel, which will never probably happen, but if we nah. were going to ever end the channel, can we do it in st- some stupid way? Like even yeah, if we're absolutely. really pissed at each other, which again I don't ever see happening. Nah. Um, I've never been mad at John, guys. Just so everybody knows, uh, we've never even had it. Well, we we may have disagreed about choices yeah, of what we're sure. doing going forward, but it's never even been like an argument to no. where we oh i'm not talking to you it, no. yeah no we've been very um, fortunate with yeah. the professional relationship but like yeah i i want to end it on a stupid note we could absolutely end it on some stupid note all right perfect. absolutely yeah but if you guys yeah, ever see, see a tweet about ending. something dumb <laughs> i don't i don't ever see it ending but no, it <laughs> okay i just think that'd be funny no, I think we're too uh, we, we're we're too goal oriented and too too a little a little narcissistic. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but, uh, Hence this whole but, uh, episode. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Uh, well, no, I mean honestly, I didn't man, plan this. So it, have you know. have you ever wanted to know what your content creators were like and what their question or their answers would be to some questions? I mean, that's kind of what we're. I always thought, yeah, kind of what we're. I'm with that. I do find that interesting. It's weird to be on the other side of it. Yeah um all right next up this one's got to be i kind of think i know what this one's going to be too but i'll let you go ahead and elaborate so this this is 16 you only got five more six more total after this no five more after this yeah it's 21 questions do some math um you can't read i can't do math we're good uh (laughs) if you could turn (laughs) if you could turn one character from mt from from magic into a planeswalker who would it be and what would their color uh, combinations be i mean <laughs> uh uh yagmoth <laughs> um okay i i think um i would uh, okay honestly what i think mm-hmm. would be really like a troll is you take a card and there's somebody who i i, I don't remember their username but uh i feel the need to say this because they'll get the joke um the almighty brushwag uh i think would be a great planeswalker uh do you know what that card is no wait um i'll look it up on my phone real quick i think i do know it's like a one drop creature it's very useless um but it's called the (laughs) almighty brushwag and i just feel like with a name like almighty you should probably be a planeswalker um in all seriousness, definitely Yogmoth because Okay, yeah, I know what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's somebody in I, I forget like they had Brushwag in their name, if I'm not mistaken, but th- when I mm. used to live stream like a year or two ago, they would always pop into chat and they would always like say, you know, may the brushwag be with you or, you know, the Almighty is watching <laughs> over you or something along those lines. And I would win the game after they said that and it was like, Oh, well nice. that's because, you know, the the almighty brushwag gave you their blessing so i'm just like that has to be the troll card that yeah. needs to be a planeswalker in all seriousness you'd though, say Yogmoth. Yogmoth. and what colors i mean or definitely color. definitely black focus um mm-hmm. I, I don't see a reason why it it has to be aligned in black or he has to be aligned in black um as far as other colors i mean like blue would kind of make sense maybe uh, because he's very, uh, I mean, his thought processes are like far and above what everybody else's are in his backstory and all that stuff. So obviously there's some of that going on, but definitely focused in 
in black without yeah. a doubt. Cool. I'm actually going to answer this one too. Yeah, please. Because I think there's a possibility for this and I want to be on the record as calling it if it did happen. Oh shit. Yeah, let's go. Elsh Elsh Norn or Zoff. Elish? Okay. Elish. Yep. You guys say Elish. I don't even pronounce the second E. <laughs> Elsh. <laughs> Else. um i do i've i've always called her that i see the e i can read yeah. but i just don't pronounce it um yeah and i know i okay look i know i've heard people tell me she's got no ambition for that blah 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 blah. but if i mean if the phyrexians are doing their thing i yeah. mean they got tamio so they did get tamio how sad so you like know. of all people or of all planeswalkers they got tamio <laughs> Yeah, and she, her and Shieldred are the only ones that we haven't seen. The only other thing that I could think of is maybe with Loth rotating out, maybe Shieldred mm -hmm. comes in as a planeswalker. But I would prefer Elish. Yeah. I mean, out yeah. of the, the Phyrexian Praetors, 100% mm -hmm. Elish. Jenga Taxis yeah. would be fun too, but we already got yeah. a new Jenga Taxis, so that's not happening. Yeah, he'd be a broken ass planeswalker. He's a broken ass card, period. <laughs> he is broken. He's right? never he's had so a non broken, broken card. <laughs> no, he isn't, man. He's been nice all the Granted, time. Well, it's Vorn Clicks. Vorn Clicks, too. Uh, this Vorn yeah. Clicks isn't as oppressive as the last one, but. Uh, no, but like he the still ceiling does. potential for all of the Praetors is like ridiculous. It's disgusting. Yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. All right, next one top three movies like if you came across oh, it on God. tv you would have to stop and watch it i feel like there's a lot um there is but you can only pick three <laughs> so, thanks that was helpful. and you can't be like in the entire series of i literally yeah. have to pick one of them yep out, out of a series like i can't say no lord you could pick rings. all of them you could pick all of them in lord of the rings but that's all three of them <laughs> That's all you're watching the rest That's of your life. all I'm watching the rest of my life. It'll take the rest of my life. Um, you would get so sick and tired of Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Frodo. Sam and Frodo. Um, I love you, Sam. Why is Banshee? Or whatever. <laughs> give she, give she. <laughs> we're Frodo and Sam. Oh, my no, God. No, we're not. You're no, Sam. We're not, man. No, no, damn. What are you trying to say? I need to back. I just wanted to toss you under the bus. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. Um, man, that's like actually really difficult. Um, I really enjoyed. Oh fuck, Inception. I really like Inception. Okay. Uh, so I would say that's probably up there. That's also one of those movies that's never boring to watch because it's just freaking mm -hmm. cool looking. But you know how it, you do know how it ended, right? You know. Yes. Okay. So. Yes. Cool. Yeah. No, I, yeah I don't I want to spoil it for anybody that hasn't watched it. If you haven't yeah. seen it, watch it, man. Visually yeah. stunning, great oh, story. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Super interesting. Um, the layers there are phenomenal. Um, ah, pun. Yeah. <laughs> that. <laughs> That's uh, something only people who have seen Inception yeah, are going to yeah, understand. Exactly. <laughs> it's like everybody at this point should have probably seen it, but for the should've. younger audience, definitely. We, I mean, there are younger people that watch. Um, you probably or you may not have. You should definitely watch hmm. it if you're. I guess I don't know if what the rating is on it, but watch it if you can. It's great. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> is there, oh, a new one, actually, and this is so off the wall, Klaus. The Netflix Christmas movie. Fucking adorable, man. Have you seen that? No, man. I don't do Christmas Oh, my movies. God. Okay, but hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. You would appreciate the movie for the art style. Um, okay. It's a beautiful little movie. And it's like the quote-unquote origin story of Christmas. And so it's mm -hmm. like a different thing. Um, but it's a beautiful movie. It looks amazing. It's absolutely stunning. And the storytelling is phenomenal. I love it. Uh, really fun, right too. Um, I'll and check the music it out, man. Great. I'll check it out. I'm just bitter with Christmas, man. The only Christmas movie I watch is Christmas? a Christmas story. Because my birthday's Christmas Eve. Are you serious? Yes. I didn't know that. And John. it was like growing up, Aww. it was like, it was like, uh, <laughs> happy birthday. Go pick a present out from underneath the tree. 
Oh my god! <laughs> so, no, no, but I always That's ended up so with an extra. Sad. <laughs> I always ended up with an extra present, guys. My parents weren't that mean. However, I mean, when can you do a birthday party? You know, I mean, other kids were getting roller rink parties and stuff like that. Plus, we lived out on a farm. Look, by by no means was I tortured or or you know, is it depressing? It's just. All right. So, anybody watching until this point, (laughs) can we all like agree? You guys contact me. We'll get it all set up. We're gonna get him a PO box. We're gonna get everybody to send you a gift. No, no, man. Yes, we're making up for that shit, man it really wasn't bad it really wasn't bad it's just man who wants a birthday right with christmas yeah with christmas look my nephews is actually christmas oh my god so and then i've got another nephew which is the day after christmas so it's like god man what the hell like really into the christmas time like (laughs) i don't know man i don't know i mean what's nine months before then i guess like june may june i don't know now i want to throw up in my mouth a little bit but no man (laughs) so no um no it just yeah man having a birthday right on the holidays or right around the holidays just suck let alone christmas when you can't do a birthday party and everybody's gone for two weeks and stuff like that growing up and stuff it's just a pain in the ass bro but uh okay so third movie so klaus (laughs) definitely watch klaus though and we'll get you we're gonna work on your christmas um or your birthday uh i think the last one is kind of a I don't love to say this because I feel like it's silly, uh, but I really like Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Yeah. Um, What's wrong I, with that? Nothing's wrong with it. It's just like... It's, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I like the Prisoner of Azkaban. I love the Half-Blood Prince because it's a lot of Snape's. I That's love his big Snape's turning story, point, man. You know? I love Snape's story. Yeah. Dude, I mean... What a pain in the ass the entire time, and then you figure out he's probably yeah. the most selfless character in the oh entire God. thing. It's phenomenal. It's uh, absolutely ridiculous. His story is just incredible, and uh, yeah, when you find out that at the end, I mean, of course, I mean, if you read the books, you knew ahead of time, but mm-hmm. um, I, if if that was like your first moment figuring out Snape's story and like seeing him turn and all that stuff, and it's just like, oh fuck, yeah, like that's a mind fuck right there um but yeah. it was it was a really nice movie and very dark and i like very dark things so here we are yeah right on yeah i wasn't a big fan of them when they came out but i i slowly because i mean i was you. well i had to i had to i mean kids bro i, oh, had to, I was yeah. seeing that crap all the time yeah. and now that the kids are rolling out the house and we only got the one left uh <laughs> That sounds so... for for one more year. <laughs> really got uh, one kid left. The rest are gone. Hey man, they <laughs> do. They they and they've freaking went all over the states. None of them yeah. stayed around. Uh, <laughs> they come home. You were bitchy about your birthday, and nobody wanted. Well, to... that that and I was just like, man, uh, contribute. Yeah. <laughs> Be productive to to life. <laughs> so, just in general. Why don't, you, why don't you go figure out your own stuff? Yeah, your I mom you. and I just want to hang out. <laughs> so no i'm kidding we did our all part. right it's your turn there you go you you survived yeah. you survived um all right next one that was a long uh tangent. what that was a long tangent sorry about that yeah no man we're just going all over the place yeah it's, it's fun i right. love this uh you say you're a collector over a brewer yeah mm-hmm. what do you enjoy most about brewing do you like it more than deck building and what do you enjoy about deck building? Uh, I enjoy a lot about deck building. I think the most fun thing for me is to pick a card and then use it as kind of the build around strategy. So you kind of like, I I always joke about this, but the um, crap, it's the card where you drop a creature, you flip a coin. If it's heads, you get a copy and then you flip again. And if not, yeah, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, I can't remember. Mirror March. It's Mirror March. Yeah. Um, when that card came out, that was like such a... <laughs> for anybody that watched It Resolves at the time, you guys know how important that card was to me because it was just such a fun card to build around and do <laughs> stupid stuff with. It's like um, the Scoot Swarm. Yeah, I mean, it was very Scoot Swarmy. Um, 
And so I I think of the deck building slash brewing aspect, like that's really at the heart of all of the enjoyment for me. Um, mm. I do love playing a lot of different decks, which is part of the reason it resolves is set up the way it is, obviously. Um, some of those decks I create, a lot of them I don't because I don't have a lot of time. But um, when I do have the time to sit down and deck build or brew, it's usually in that capacity where I'm trying to make a silly card work and... If I get one win with it, then I'm like, okay, it worked. I'm good. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do much more enjoy the collecting aspect of Magic, uh, funny enough. Despite the like ratio of gameplay to, to collection videos being like one to, I don't know, six or seven. Yeah. Something stupid like that. But um, yeah, I, I much more enjoy collecting. Right on. Cool. What do you like about collecting? Just the uh, artwork and getting the cards you like and stuff like that? It's all, I mean, it's the classic nostalgia argument, right? Like yeah. I used to play Magic in, se I got into it during 7th edition. Um, and so I've always kind of had a special place for that. But like just the history behind it all and like mm -hmm. the storytelling behind it all, the artwork. I mean, I think one of the great things that Magic does better than most other card games, probably any other card game if I had to, to, to say, is that it really does highlight a lot of different elements in a single card. I mean, you're looking yeah. at a, a card and it's like, okay, this is also a character in a novel or in a story. There's something bigger behind it. Um, there's like artwork that's illustrated, hand illustrated by a phenomenal artist most of the time. Um, and so you're getting a lot of like different elements all wrapped up into a little piece of cardboard. And um, it's phenomenal. I mean, it's it's such an enjoying or, or a, uh, an enjoyable thing to, to sit there and open up a pack, get some crazy card or... Yeah, even, I mean. just, even just the basic cards like we talk about on the collection series a lot of the cards that i pick up i mean some have value but a lot of them don't and that's kind of fine like i don't care um it's just nice to have a freaking cool card you know what i mean yeah um, no no doubt yeah but yeah the christmas uh the christmas fishing aspect yeah. of uh opening the packs to see what you get man yeah it's, fun, oh, it's a blast it's it's fun. An it could be addicting so watch out it is <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> i will say um not to not to harp on the collecting thing but um i am as you know kind of going through and trimming down my collection quite a bit uh mm -hmm. and so we've got a lot of cards up on our tcg player store if anybody wants to but uh we also I, i've also started pricing the stuff that i'm keeping and um i i will say it would be nice at some point <laughs> in my future if i ever needed money <laughs> uh the equity built up in some cardboard is uh, a little bit more than i'm uh, uh, proud to admit but <laughs> yeah no i've had i've had a moment like that before yeah. <laughs> where yeah. i went and i was like eh let me trim it back, took a yeah. box in and to a store that I knew gave at least decent rates and yeah. stuff. And uh, I wanted to keep it local because we didn't have a lot of shops sure. around to uh, do that. And um, man, so I went through the comic book side of the store while they were doing all the add up and stuff. And when they came back and gave me the total, I was like, <laughs> yeah. They were like, could you take half in store credit, please? I was like, yeah, I mean, do you want me to, you just want to sign over ownership? <laughs> so it's like, yeah. Yeah, it's, man, it, it can get out of control. To, to like adding a card to, to like I use a collection app, so I, I've got it all kind of digitally recorded. So I kind of just have an idea of what I've got. Um, mm. And it's nice to see like, oh, what's my most expensive card? Like if I add this one, does it beat this one and all that stuff? And it's fun try and think of what my most expensive would, would be probably the guy's cradles now oh yeah definitely your guy's cradles i can tell you i don't is. know i've got but i've got tropical island and i have tundra and Badlands. plateau plateau and all right so my surprisingly a more recent card um my most expensive card at the moment um mm -hmm. keeping in mind this is like if the if it was near mint and like all that stuff which actually it is um but extended art jeweled lotus foil oh right on do you have a guess as to how much you think that card is 350 no higher oh yeah really oh yeah okay go for it uh 727 dollars damn bro 
Um, yeah. People are like, uh, we need car payments. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've so. honestly thought like it'd be nice to sell out of my collection and just pay off all of our debt. <laughs> like we've both bought know, new right? cars in the last like five years, so it's like we could just pay those off and be done. Um, yeah. But yeah, I've got that Tundra, Badlands, Wheel of Fortune, um, some really nice stuff. Yagmas will. Right on. Yeah. yeah yeah no i got a bunch of nice stuff too i just don't uh i don't go through it like i used to just because i'm not playing it that much yeah. uh physically anymore oh, I um you. i need to though i need to i just gotta watch out when i do it because i am one of those people that over commits yeah. <laughs> so. i do the same hence having it resolved <laughs> <laughs> all right next one up yeah favorite television show or streaming series oh um hmm we know it's not Game of Thrones. It's not Game of Thrones. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I really like Sherlock, actually. Really? Um, yeah. Well, which is you're talking about? You're talking about his, right? Um, it's the modern day retelling name? of Sherlock Holmes. Talking about? Oh, is that it the dude was from on Netflix? <laughs> it's not anymore. That... So Benedict it's not the dude. Batch. Is it his? That's is that his. the one you're talking about? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then yeah, I know it. Yeah. Um, no, it's good, man. It's good. Beautiful series, super well written, um, really funny at times and really mm. like disconcerting at others. Um I again going back to my book history and what I love to read, a lot of the old Sherlock's home Sherlock Holmes uh short stories were really fun for me to read um as a oh, yeah. young adult. So like yeah. Yeah, and the it. Hounds of Baskerville and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Classic. Yeah, man. Um, yep. I will just say I gotta throw The Office in there. If I'm just looking for like a a stupid um, thing to watch on TV, I just throw The Office on. Here's where we're gonna divide it. Oh shit! British or American? American. Okay. <laughs> All right. Did you think we divide it? I'm pretty sure most no, people know no, the no. British I version mean, sucks. No. <laughs> yeah well i don't know man i like it it's it's I, it's not my favorite the american no. version is still my favorite but the british version it cracks me up that it came out first and the american yeah. one just absolutely trounced it in well, popularity and randy gervais i do love like he's hilarious ricky gervais ricky yeah randy not yeah randy. Um, i just saw him, him yeah. i just saw a video of him did you know he was a, like a teen pop idol back in the 80s no <laughs> Dude, he's got flock of seagull hair. You gotta look it up, bro. I you gotta that. look it up, man. I love you his stand up. up. <laughs> I um I I don't wanna like call out religious personal stuff, so I'm not gonna yeah. do anything like that. But he's obviously a very strong atheist, if you don't know. Oh um, yeah, he is. And yeah. he plays so heavily into that and do his comedy routine and it's so hilarious. <laughs> like Oh man, he's oh yeah, it's dude. Really he funny. is uh, he's yeah, he's hilarious. Yeah. I love it. All right. Um, next one. If you let's see, favorite MTG pro player. Uh, I know who it is. Reed Duke. Yeah. Um, my, I would have said LSV a few years ago, and I do still really love LSV for the record. But there's something. Reed Duke is like the full pro package man. He's super good at the game. Really well disciplined. Works extraordinarily mm. hard. And he's just so freaking polite and like lovable, man. <laughs> like you gotta love Reed Duke. Um, he also yeah, just plays dude. an ass load of Jund, and I mean, I like Jund. <laughs> yeah, you know what I think about when I look at when I when I watch Reed Duke or I, I look at him. Mm. Um, you know that that what is it that old ass computer that they found that looks like it's petrified in stone and they can't explain what it is. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. And stuff. Sure. Okay, so there's this there's this computer thing. It looks like gears and stones and stuff, and they can't figure out how it was built way back whenever it was built and everything. But that it's an unsolved mystery. Anyways, yeah. now you know what I watch on TV. I'm but that's really what I look at. That. <laughs> that's what I look at when I when I look at Reed Duke. That's what I think about. Yeah. His damn brain's some computer we can't even figure out. Oh man, yet. it's phenomenal. <laughs> so it's um, like how do, how does your how does that shit click in your head, bro? Oh, that's insane. <laughs> I will say I was really devastated. This was years ago, but Yu Yu Watanabe when he got caught cheating with uh, yeah. Tron, I was really upset by that because I actually really enjoyed Yu Yu. Um, watching him play was always a treat. But I I mean. Yeah, Definitely. you can't do it. You can't, can't break cheat, the integrity man. of the game. No. Break the integrity of the game one time, even if they let you back in, it's done. Yeah. 
No, and he, I mean, if he was cheating, he deserves it. You know what I mean? So I'm cool with that. Yep. But I just, I hate it because he was a really cool player. Yeah. Before yeah. he cheated. <laughs> Before he cheated. No. Well, I mean, he may have been cheating all. No, I'm kidding. Well, he could have, <laughs> Let's not yeah. deep dive it. No, no. <laughs> so, all right. Final question. We're going to end this on the most serious question of all. It's going to be serious. Now we're actually going to seriously know what Kevin's made of. What's my favorite? If you color? could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? And you've got to give like a vegetable starch yeah, protein. Yeah. 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 What you a, can only eat one meal. What a underwhelming final question. Um, no, 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 it's not, man. No, it's not. You got to come up with it off the top of your head. I can do that. I got you. Uh, are we Dude, talking if you like. Say, if you say sweet potatoes, I'm out of here, man. Nobody I likes hate sweet, sweet potatoes. potatoes. <laughs> Nobody likes sweet Funny potatoes, enough, bro. My wife loves them. I do not. My um, wife does too. My wife does too. <laughs> Um, I love that out of 50% of the people we mentioned, or out of a hundred percent of the people we mentioned, 50% do like sweet potatoes, even though I know, said nobody, I know. Likes sweet potatoes. nobody likes them. No, this a is lot of people do. Head. I just, I just, I can't stand them, no, man. I, I, I mean, like them. you can put butter and cinnamon and sugar and marshmallows and everything on that crap. It's still a pile of shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, I'm not eating it. We're going to be very divisive on the sweet potato issue. <laughs> These are the issues that need discussing. Um, so uh, main course. Mm -hmm. So main thing, uh, prime rib for sure. Nice. Yeah. Um, medium rare. Yeah. Uh, has to, it's prime has rib. To be, if you yeah, overcook it, it's medium rare. bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, it, and it automatically comes with the au jus to dip it yes, back into that au jus is oh phenomenal i had one in on our honeymoon in uh in the keys and it was mm -hmm. amazing it was a very wine heavy au jus like it had a wine taste to it um yep. but it was still very good yeah uh, i cook it i cook it every easter here oh john i'm gonna come hang with you um man it's like a hundred bucks for that damn thing dude, bro. yeah it's crazy <laughs> it's we got ridiculous. filet mignon the other day it was on sale mm -hmm. at our grocery store and man, it was delicious. I cooked it. I'm not like the best at cooking. I really enjoy cooking, but I'm not great at it. Um, but mm -hmm. we did have, I did cook the filet mignon, like perfect medium rare. It had like a nice buttery thyme rosemary just drizzled over. Oh, it was amazing. Nice, man. I haven't had lunch. I got to go. Well, no, actually I did. I had sushi right before we hopped on. What am I talking about? You're still making me hungry, bro. Yeah, dude. Um, so prime rib with the au jus for sure. Mm -hmm. Um I really enjoy French cut French cut green beans uh yep. with uh diced onions caramelized in it. Um, I also cook bacon in it too when I do that. Bacon is good as well. I don't I do, do the it butter. Very often, but I do yeah. the butter with the bacon and the onions first and then yep. the green beans. Oh yeah. Super man. good. Um and then homemade scallop potatoes. Oh shit, yeah. Damn, bro. Yeah, I know, right? I'm it's about to good. just tackle the hell out of our fridge. <laughs> <laughs> no, Do it. Yeah. Um, guys, John's going to come back with just a plate with, like, steak. And we we got to take a break. Um, I'm no, fine um, with it. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, that would be pretty amazing. Um, with, That's awesome. With ice water and a glass of uh, scotch on the side. Uh, well okay the scotch fine i mean after you drink the one you don't really care about the second or the third I, or the fourth here's the weird thing about me john i, I know, love man. scotch i, I know, don't dude. drink alcohol while i eat i don't know why yeah i would do sweet tea i'm a sweet tea guy i grew up on the farm so tea. i always had sweet tea it's man look i don't drink sodas i don't drink coca-cola or pepsi yeah. or dr pepper or anything like it. it's either sweet tea or or grape kool-aid no shit <laughs> that's it man what? that's all i grew up with um, i don't i just don't i don't do sodas i do like soda but i've cut a lot of soda out of my diet because it wrecks my stomach after a while so. actually i take it coffee sweet tea oh, dude coffee or grape kool-aid that's it that's and even so my weird. coffee I, yeah i gotta have milk in it and um Pansy. i don't know if you know this man <laughs> well look dude i mean <laughs> you can drink black coffee all you want maybe the hair grows on your chest uh 
I can't do it, man. This, but I'm, no, I'm oh, I know, I know. You've always got a glass going. Um, yeah. But uh, the toasted marshmallow syrup, uh, they used to make a coffee mate. Yeah. Um, used to have it, and they discontinued that. You guys, by the way, for doing that. Um, so Strong I had to get the. Uh, this. Yeah, man, I did. They, I mean, I, it was sold out at every store. If I would find one, I would find six and I would have to buy them all because they would just be sold out of everywhere. That's how good this stuff was. Um, but uh, I did find the toasted marshmallow syrup on Amazon. So I put that in with the milk, man. It's fucking delightful. <laughs> so delightful. I uh, but, uh, I can't yeah. put anything in my coffee. I really love black coffee. Um, yeah, you know, nobody talked about it. Nobody uh, likes black coffee. That's such a lie. <laughs> I know tons of people that like black coffee, and mostly they're uh, not. Oh man! So, ha. Huh. It's such a bitter taste. Do you put salt? Do you put salt on your grounds no. to take out the? But did you know if you put a little sea salt on the top of your grounds, it'll take mm. a little bit of that bitterness out and mellow it so out. So you could do that, or you could just drink it like you're supposed to, and then it's fine. Or you could just drink it like a man. <laughs> Dude, I'm not saying like a rather, man. I'm just saying like you're supposed to. We're not making this sexist. I would sexist, rather so we're not take doing potting that. soil out of my backyard and put it in the coffee filter and drink I that. I would love for you to compare the two and see which rather one you actually no, prefer. No, um, no I, I do love black coffee. I get it. No, I joking aside, I get putting stuff in coffee. I didn't grow yeah. up drinking coffee. Um, like, uh, you know, it, and it, I, it took me years and years to actually like coffee. Um, cause I really didn't for a long time, but as with scotch, I kind of acquired the taste. Uh, and so now black coffee, scotch, water, those are like my go-tos. Man, you're not even, you're not even a halfway in type of guy. You're all in no. or nothing because you have you black met coffee and scotch. Yeah. Jesus. Man. This is how my <laughs> life works. Like, okay. So dessert, if you had to have a dessert. Oh yeah. Good question. Um, oh, shit. There we go. don't freak out. Um, <laughs> I'm hitting what the arm is, of my mic. What would be? Um, it might be again. I like mint. Um, funny enough, uh, cream to mint pie is very good. <sighs> or or you had or, me up until that. <laughs> I also weirdly have an obsession with lemon bars. Okay, I will, my, I will yep. get down with some lemon bars. I will get sick off of those things. <laughs> I'm not a lemon bar guy, but my wife does like lemon meringue and lemon bars Love and key lemon lime and stuff pie, like yeah. that. Man, I'm just not a tart guy. I'm not a dessert guy, dude. I'm just not a sugar guy unless it's in my coffee oh, yeah. and my Kool-Aid and, <laughs> and my <your> tea. <laughs> unless you're drinking and, the sugar, you're not into it. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, no, I get you. I, I really like a lot of the like lemon meringue and key lime stuff that's a well big, and i'm big allergic time. to chocolate so are you really i didn't yeah know man it gives me super migraines it, it, i sucks. me checking out at a grocery store is the most uneventful thing you've ever seen in your life while everybody else is sitting there looking at snicker bars and Reese's and shit like that i'm just checking out bro hold that's on it. hold on i have to interrupt Reese's. reese's reese's, reese's? that's that's yeah. the one yeah you said did I say Reese's? Reese's? You okay, sure well, did. <laughs> if you're looking at Reese's and Reese's, if anybody made it... it to this far in the podcast <laughs> episode, I'm gonna need you to comment Reese's, is, how, however you think it's spelled, down below. I don't care, man. But okay, but I'm not talking about multiple packs of Reese's peanut butter cups. I'm talking about pieces and cups and sticks and bars and the big cups. So that's Reese's. <laughs> I love is that it you still, justified is it, this. <laughs> is it still Reese's? It, yes. I could see it would be Reese's if it's plural in the box of one brand, one type. But if it's multiple types across the brand, is it Reese's? <laughs> so, okay, I What the up, fuck man. is happening? <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> so, so anyways, you went with lemon bars. <laughs> so fucking dumb. Sure, we'll say lemon nah, bars. Man. Let's go with that. All right. There you go. See? Okay, so there you go, guys. We did Now you know all Kevin. 21 things about me. That's all well, there is. Not all of it, but we know some now. We know some. We know you need to get your ass on Game of Thrones, bro. There is some really good episodes in there. I don't I've know. I've really man. pissed off a lot of friends by saying I didn't enjoy Game of Thrones. 
then don't do it dude i i'm trying to think there was one that uh my kids kept wanting me to watch and, and i couldn't even get past the first episode like i have seen the first episode like five mm-hmm. or six times i couldn't watch it anymore um because i kept falling asleep uh i want to i can't even remember what That's it was insulting now. to the tv show isn't it <laughs> I know. I got to find out what it was again. Uh, but I mean, it's like 21, what is it? 2001 Space Odyssey? Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. I haven't ever seen Past the Door with the monkeys. Seriously? That's Dude, like a I pretty asleep. iconic movie. I fall asleep. I haven't seen it past the door, past the monkeys. I fall asleep. That is these. That is, man, I, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's hypnotizing. Like, if I can't even fall, if I can't fall asleep, I'll just turn that shit on. I'm out like a baby that's amazing to me it's better than a car ride stanley kubrick man you can't tell me you actually enjoyed the shining either there is not a stanley kubrick movie out there that i've ever enjoyed all the way through and that even includes full metal jacket i'm retired military i like full metal jacket for about five minutes of it fuck stanley kubrick man weird ass movies anyway we're gonna (laughs) stop berating famous movie producers now that was amazing i don't care i don't care uh damn all right this whole this whole episode just went everywhere we learned a little bit about kevin and a lot about john (laughs) right right um this was hilariously fun to me um good man good i told you it was gonna be easy i love talking about myself so this was just an hour of me being super stoked all the time well, I mean, we were talking back and forth. I had to make it kind of playful, but I mean, yeah. we've got a big one next week, and we that's yeah. going to require some research and study. And well, stay tuned for part two to... of this, though, because we're definitely going to have to flip the tables here on this. And uh, oh, Jesus! Twenty-one <laughs> questions for John. Nice. I'm nice. pretty stoked. They're right on. <laughs> you set a precedence, man. This is going to be great. But hey, man, again, if you guys got questions that I didn't hit up, like I said, I wasn't going into personal, you know, I wasn't bringing the wife into it or anything like that. Um, I, it just, uh, but I figured it would be something fun. I've all, you know, there's, there's, there's content creators out there that I would like to see them do this you know yeah. that you kind of want to get to know a little more but there's also probably content creators that don't want to let people in at all like that sure. um you know there's there's definitely that barrier between the monitor and the people but uh but no man i thought it'd be a lot of fun i had a blast with it bro thank, thank you thank you man that was awesome yeah and again if anybody does have questions as long as they're not too personal i'll do my best mm-hmm. to answer them and um john if if anybody has questions for john as well feel free to leave them we'll get them ready for the next one um, just don't be about stanley kubrick yeah good lord um <laughs> didn't know that was a hot button topic but here we are um <laughs> so overrated yeah so overrated. anyway uh <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this one. I'm glad we're back. Uh, we do have a pretty big episode next week planned, uh, so I'm really excited about that. We'll we'll do some research and make sure we do that one up right, because uh, I do mm-hmm. want to make sure that we, we do the research there. But um, as far as the podcast is concerned, we don't plan on missing another week. Um, if schedules don't align again, we'll certainly do our best to let everybody know, but we're we're usually pretty good about that. So uh, thankfully, that's not an issue very often. But uh, one other thing to note... Uh, for any content creators out there, um, we did have a guest slot picked out for Mana Man this past week. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy Mana Man's video. It was great to see Alchemy represented on the channel as well as um, just him in general. He's a really charismatic individual. Uh, and so if you happen to be a content creator, you would like to, to take up another guest slot. We do have a number of people who have actually submitted to it, uh, which is great to see it taking off. We... I, Peek behind the curtain, John and I were a little concerned about it because for a week or so mm-hmm. there, we really didn't get many bites. Um, but uh, we did now get uh, a little bit of a wait list going. So if anybody is a content creator and would like to take up a guest slot, we would love to have you. Please feel free um, <clears throat> to, to get in contact with us and we'll get you in on the, the next available Saturday. But uh, yeah, I think that's it, man. This was a, yeah. this was a blast. You're right on. Right on. I have fun with it, man. Yeah, it's Something good. different. It was really good. Uh, Again, guys, thank you so much. It's been a glorious day. We're going to get out of here. My my name's Kevin. My name's John. There it is. We queued it up. Peace. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, didn't see that coming.